Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. And here's an example of a ridiculously large piece of equipment to uh, to work on a field. In fact, the tractor up there is, is shaking with fear. <laughs> Let's get this going. Is that working? Yes it is. It's getting darker. Anyway, I'm going to start this episode doing a... Oh, a couple of jobs in this field and get the price down so that we can very quickly get it purchased and start doing something with it. It needs to be plowed. I was hoping the first job was going to be a plow job, but it isn't. So I don't know if it's going to have me plow after fertilizing or if it's just going to skip it completely. We'll have to see because I would like to have this field plowed. It'd be nice to do it on their dime. So we just buy a field that is ready to go. And I was planning on just... Uh, uh, doing this off camera and starting the episode at the end of it but then I got the the piece of equipment here and realized this is a two minute job so I decided to stick it on there all right we're going to go with the whole perimeter of the field first hopefully we'll get a little, all this done in one pass and we'll have to come back to these corners looks like you're right about there What's the plan here? Hmm. Looks like it's three passes wide. I almost need to start at this little end right here. Looks like the perfect way to start something like this and have it work out correctly. Is this is not going to work out. Three minutes left. Let's run this guy straight out to that end over there. And start it up again. I guess it was slightly wider than a... And we'll see. So swing you around like that. Turn you on just to slow things down. Get to the center. About there. Alright, we'll see if this pass does it. So this guy is the case... 340 CVX. I like the, the tank tracks here. They're still lined up properly. Boy, it takes a long time to, to zoom out. No, we're not. Just get over there. Don't miss any. Get over there. There. The inside looks like in this guy. We got a chainsaw. I knew I could count on you. There's a little over three thousand dollars. There we go. And out of curiosity, what is the next job? <clears throat> now the plow. Thirty-one minutes. So that will put us at at least one fourth of the way into his good favor, Dennis Jenkins. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it, but I'll cut most of it out. That way, we can just uh, get it uh, get it done. So, do I have any other choices? Let's check that out. So, back and R. We've got the S series, I'm thinking Voltra. Yeah. That's when we just drove. All right, we'll go back to the S series. There you are. Same plow each time. Start. see what this plow looks like. Looks like a lot of plow there. It shocked me how narrow it still was. So X. That's it. It, it, it. it grew a foot or two and that was all. All right, well, let's get her done. sheep over there. Now when we get this field, we'll cut the trees away from the ends. 
so it's much easier to turn big equipment around. This guy does not like to turn in here. I suppose if you were plowing something that had rows originally, it'd be easy to track it from in here. But I feel like I'm just going blind at this point. I've got no, uh, nothing to, to, uh, to use as a marker. starting to close off. I'm hoping I don't have to go back up there. Two rows down that stretch there. I'm hoping we'll do it. Wait and see. Oops. Diagonal rows there. Okay, stop that one. Around the corner. This one I can't fail at in in-cab mode. <laughs> so let's see what this cab looks like. This is the Voltra. Giants FM. 25 degrees Celsius. It's actually quite warm. All right, what's the plan here? Oh, we're almost done up there. So close. All right, let's go for the big swath up here and call it done. Now it is still digging, even though I lifted it up. Did that last time too. That is down. That is up. Huh? Whoa! Turn back. Okay, that's all it needed. 
So there's another 15, 16,000. And I forgot to look. So we are closing in on halfway. And he wants us to cultivate. All right, let's sneak in one more job. And again, the goal is to max out this bar. I wonder if he owns two fields anywhere. Well, if there's another field, we can get the the uh, the cost advantage of by doing jobs on this field, or vice versa. Anyway, we have a choice of this great big cultivator. Yeah, let's just get this one done. All right. Again, big equipment with the trees at the end. So when we get this field, we're going to snip some trees off. This one I'm guessing I can do with uh, 180 at the end. We'll see, there is quite a long tongue there. Maybe at the end of some of the other ones. Maybe this one's going to fight me. We'll see. We'll do this, that, something like that. Almost. That'll take some more practice. But this is a good size for this field. I forgot the name of it. It's blue. We'll find it again. this field, we could modify its shape. Looking at that big missing rectangle up there, we could cut a diagonal through there. Get the trees out. And, uh, kind of make that decision then. It makes less room to turn uh, tractors around. That uh, would give us more crops. We'll have to kind of make that call when it happens. Now, this is still going to end up the wrong way, isn't it? Meaning, I'm going to go up there, make a 180 back, and hit a dead end. Still not the best way to do this field. I think the best way to do this field is starting down here at this little end. For just about all of the equipment. Ending on the, the long end. Down there. 
was hoping it would drop as soon as I touched the button. Now, will this be enough? If not, it's going to hurt. Better uh, take me to an edge here. tight and do this again. It is so close. <laughs> All right. Okay. And one more peek. Now he wants us to... Oh, that's interesting. I wasn't going to do the next step. But this allows us to choose what we want to put in there. Now, what is this guy? Is that the potato sower? If it is, we don't want it because we don't have the equipment to pull it back out. So, okay, so I'm guessing this is a sower of some kind. It's just this huge hopper here. Uh, but this, I think, would allow us to choose our own crop. Let's find out. There's a Massey Ferguson. That's what we've bought, what we're using. Don't know if it's the same model. I'm guessing this uh, sower also cultivates. Let's watch this. No, we don't have the little tines. A lot of discs, though. Yeah, I might. This comes down. And it, let's see here. Waste a little time learning about this one. You've got side markers. I don't see how to use them, though. Turn on sower, lower, fold. I don't see any other controls. Open cover in. A seed, okay, but these arms should drop down, right? Shouldn't they mark something? Don't know, but let's get this going. Looks like another pass and a half anyway, so I guess I better make sure I get all of this. Okay, almost done. Just a tiny sliver left. made quite a bit of money doing this and that was soy that went in so that's a crop we can handle next is uh, fertilizing and we're not going to do that today so back and we're free I always feel like a, a community service jail time when I have to do these uh, co uh, contracting jobs all right what I want to do now last episode we dropped off the uh, the one grass bale. We fed the one grass bale uh, right up in there. So let's go get the rest of the grass bales and just, just store them over there. And I'm kind of thinking that we'll uh, we'll just toss them in the back of the pickup truck. Let's see. Let me get into the pickup there. Getting a little dirty down there. I have to give them, a, give them a bath soon. Okay. 
Then we need to check our fields and see, uh, boy, this brakes are sensitive, and see uh, what condition our fields are in and if there's anything we need to be doing there. We haven't played the game for a couple days. Got to kind of learn to drive all over again. It takes a while to get the fingers used to doing what they do. And the brake pedals. Now in between episodes I went ahead and put a front loader bracket on this guy and went out and bought the other bail spike for it so that we can load up in fact I can do it right here we can load up the uh, the bales from here and not have to bring the Manitou back look how much this has already grown almost full uh, full height on the grass again now let's see if we can even put three bales in there these are bigger bales than you realize. Or the pickup is way small for its size. You know, for its scale. Hmm. What is the plan? I'm thinking two in the bottom and one on the top like a pyramid. It does feel like the scale is wrong, doesn't it? The pickup just feels too small compared to all the rest of this stuff. Right there. Now we front to back. We're pretty good. Okay, straight down in there. Like that. Can I back out? That'll do. Okay. All right, so off that way. Actually, let's take it up higher. which will swing us out to there. And I'm hitting something even though I'm not. Okay. So let's swing out this way again. Try that again. There we go. Will it grip it enough for me just to back up? No. Up, in, down. Smash that poor truck. Back up. Okay. Um... If I do that, can I just push it in? Well, something like that. Yeah, it's not going to stack well, is it? Well, that was an experiment. I guess we'll just deal with the two. Yeah, we'll just park this guy right here. Okay. Now, let's find out what it takes to drive this thing, because it's not going to be considered stable, so they're going to walk themselves all over the place. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, I'll work with that. Those bills are huge. It's like four feet in diameter. Is that normal? I'm used to just the small alfalfa bales. This is all I've ever dealt with. The small rectangles. Yeah, really slow around the corners because it's not considered strapped in. And it's so heavy that we're bottoming out on the back tires.
Now I'm hearing that there are mods out there that put straps on this pickup. So maybe Giant will pick up on that soon and make that a something that's available from the main menu. Don't really like grabbing mods from elsewhere and trying to put them into the mod folder manually. If it comes from the mod choices on the main menu, then Giant has already tested it and they're they're confident that everything's fine. At least that's the way I look at it. When you're doing a YouTube series, you don't want to be doing anything that's going to suddenly corrupt your save file and you no longer have a series. So, so when you hit save, it saves in this as the same name. You don't get to choose new names. We're basically save file one. So this corrupts, it's gone. Okay, best plan here. Something like that. Now dare I take the... Oh! It's the sheep chewing! <laughs> yeah, that truck is just not stable, is it? Do I dare take this down? Yeah, it looks like I can. It's not gonna roll away. Alright. Oh, there's... There's the rolling. Okay. Yeah, you stayed. Wow, these guys munch loud. You're enjoying that grass. So the alignment is right about there. And height is actually pretty good like that. Pivot. Whoa, pivot this way. Man, this is some some strong equipment here. it and depth wise where are we at actually pretty good right there so down pivot up right there nope not there it is so touchy okay what do I need there now you release now you release okay just enough room in here to do this so we want to do this. Boy, I wish there was a little more room. Let's move that truck forward. Okay. This we can get into position and, and use the uh, telescope. Something like that. Alright, let's get in here a little closer. Okay, height is pretty good. Now extend into the bale. And then pivot up. Raise it. Boy, it's hard to... The mouse is your camera and the mouse is all the controls on that guy, so... It kind of hurts the brain to operate this thing. <laughs> All right, pivot it around. And I don't want to get that bale into that space. I'm afraid it's going to just take it right off the tines to touch up that tiny little bit they've eaten and lose a whole bale in the process. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't want to test it. So what to do here? If I were to sit it right on top, what would it do? Would it... Would they roll apart? Up a little. Right there. Up more. Pivot flat. Ah. Okay. Up. Pivot. Up. Pivot. 
Right there. Move forward. Down. And back up. No. Yes? No. There's our rolling. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna go to there. Well, it looks good to me. Alright, we'll go that way, slightly uphill. Alright. That looks pretty good. If I had a wall on that left side, I'd go ahead and put two more in that row and let them kind of spill over the sides, and then we'll do another row above it. But that is enough bale stacking for today. Let's just kind of park this guy in here. Right over here. We'll come back for him if we need him. Right there. And what to do next? I almost hit my head there. Our fields are needing what? Growing. That looks like the final stage to me. So next episode, I have a feeling we're going to be harvesting canola and barley. Otherwise, we're wanting to buy this one. We're wanting pigs. This field here. Let's drive out there. I want to. I want to look at something. Uh, let's try the other backup pedal. There we go. And tailgate up. There we go. The DPI switch in my mouse gets really sensitive this way, but it does nothing for rolling it. I'm too mouse pads wide to try to get this thing up and down. It takes a lot of movement. Strange how it isn't uh, all the same sensitivity controls. Straighten up here and jump in the gab. Alright. Yeah, this is feeling more natural now. It wasn't ten minutes ago. So it takes a while to get uh, get used to the controls again. It'd be different if I did this every single day for hours. I'd feel like a, a master at this game. I would like to be a master at this game. It's a very enjoyable game. But unfortunately, I've got a real life. <laughs> that doesn't involve playing games all day. Alright, up toward the pig farm. Now, we can get there from here. We can get there from the woods, too. Let's go the back route this way. One thing that's convenient about the pigs is that... And the sheep. The sheep you can get to from this back pathway from your farm. The pigs you can get to from the other back pathway. You can look at the map down there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right up there. Oh, it feels too quiet in here. It's really quiet here and other pieces of equipment is too uh, noisy. I'd love to turn the, the engine volumes up louder. Alright. So back of the pig farm. And we do have some storage over here. We have these two big bays. Be nice if the sheep had that as well, or at least one of them. Really low roof here to hit with your tractors you go around the corners. But what I want to look at is this field over here. And what I'm thinking is that there's a lot of grass around this. Actually, let's uh, look at it this way. There. So we have lots of grass around really all sides of this guy. So if we bought this one and turned it into a grass field, we would be mowing a space almost a half time larger than the field itself. So it just seems very conducive to, uh, to silage or uh, you know, hay production. So there's something to think about. Take out some of the trees and, and just go mower crazy, even all the way down that, uh, that wedge down there at the far end. We just take take uh, control of all of it. Nobody coming? You can see all the extra space if you took these trees out. And even the pig farm itself. We're going to clear out this section here and just mow all of that. And get that over to the biogas plant. It's actually nearby. Ooh. That's formulating a plan. 
Yep, it's right down there. I'm dumping in the bays over in there. and At least that is my assumption. I have yet to try it in 17. I read all kinds of comments on... Uh, on their Facebook page, people complaining that the grass wasn't converting to silage, so I still need to see how that's done now. I'm assuming you just pack it down like in 13 and 15 as well, but if that were the case, why would so many people be complaining about it not working? So I've got to do a little research make sure that uh, something fundamental didn't change with this version. But you would fill it up pack it down, cover it up, it waits a, oh, a day or two and, and turns into uh, basically a mulch that you can then sell and make lots of profit on. Though I'm told the profit is quite low in this version compared to previous ones. Probably to force you to get back to farming instead of using this game as a, uh, a forestry and uh, a silage game. But what to do the rest of this episode? Hmm. Actually, I don't know how long the episode is. All the uh, the field work at the beginning really throws up any kind of a, of a sense of timing. Would love to have that, that field over there someday. This guy over here is a possibility, though. What's he cost? I've done a few jobs on this one already. Um, he might not let me. Let's back up. There we go. What is that, corn? Yeah. And that we could do. We're halfway there. 100,000. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. Just It's just a header on our uh, uh, combine. Nope, that does not zoom. <laughs> so we could actually use this crop. Okay, your name was... Joshua Allen. Okay. I wish there was a way to know. That's not what I wanted. Where is the escape? There it is. Trying to do this by braille here. I wish there was a way to know who had each field. I can visit it. That's it. So I can tag Joshua. Oh, I see. It just puts this green column above it. Okay. Untag. So without visiting every one of them and recording who owns what, I can't go work for him on another job because it didn't give me the ability to do anything with his corn here. But if he owned you know, this one, I could go work over here for him and he would get the price lower here, maybe in time to get there before the final stage of growth and into the harvest, and we could harvest it and take the crop ourselves. Hmm... Okay, well, that's a thought. And I think we live up... Let me think about that. Pig farm's up there. Yeah, we live up this one. No, we don't. This goes to the pig farm. All right, well, we'll take the back route in. I know a shortcut. be neat if Night Ghost were to jump into a game like this. Imagine doing this whole game with the, uh, the accent of a pig farmer. <laughs> that would be quite amusing. There's our canola. And there's our barley. And our last bale of hay. And our half field of soy. It is officially planted, right? I never did check to see. Yeah, it's planted. 
that the sower didn't run out of, of uh, seed. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Let's park this guy and think about things. Well, I know something that we can do. There's something that we didn't do when we first got our million dollars that we should have. Let's go over to the finance tab. We owe $75,000. We should have paid that off right off the bat. So let's do that. I might even get some kind of an achievement for paying off our loan. There we go. And nothing pops up on the screen. So I guess not. Um, what else? You know, there was something that I wanted to try. I was going to do it off camera, but it might be kind of fun to to go and do it right now, just to see what it's all about. Every time that I head over to the sheep farm, I have that same question in my mind. What is that one, what looks like a buy point there? Let's go find out what that is. I keep talking about bringing a trailer over and checking it out. Let's go do that. Doesn't really matter which one. Though we could go and pick up a another one. It'd be nice to get two of these these newer one over there on the right, but eh, let's grab this guy. Why did that not grab? There we go. I wanna go check something out. I don't remember in 13 or 15 the ability to buy seed, buy commodities. So I'd be surprised if there is the ability to do so here. But by the shape of this thing, it's not a point where you drop something off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, come up here in just a second. This guy over here, what is this? I wouldn't have thought anything about it except that we've got the markers down here. So some kind of an interaction happens inside this. So if we pull into there and let's pop outside. There we go. So is it R? Start filling R. Is it filling with our own stuff? Farm silo. Oh, it is what you have stored here. So it's counting this as a silo. Interesting. Uh, your own personal silo. So you can fill this one up as well and transfer it into the train. Uh huh. So if we start bringing in a large quantity of a particular crop and we run out of room in our silo, we can store in here temporarily. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, well, now we do. Pull through here, here's where you would dump it off. to do now. Kind of tell you what I need to do. Let's hit 8 a couple of times and get time sped up. We need to work on our own fields and they're not ready yet. I'm getting a little tired of contracting other fields. We'll do some more next time until we finally get uh, the price down low enough on a field we can buy it and get to work on it. I do want to get cattle going but I think I want to do pigs first. But that's an episode all in itself, and this one's already running out of time. So we won't do that. So 
So really, playing this game, there will be times when there's not much to do but contract other fields. Unless you're content with buying fields at full price. I'm not. So in order to get the price down, you've got to do the work. It only makes sense, especially if you can time it out right so that nearing the, uh, the bottom price is right about when that crop is ready to harvest so that you can take the seed for yourself. Essentially, the farmer would have been paying you to uh, uh, to do the plowing and cultivating and fertilizing and all that because he paid your wages for the field that you were going to buy from him. So any changes out there? No. There really aren't any timers you can look at to see that there's only two hours left and the canola is going to be ready. So you're just kind of stuck waiting for that random moment to happen. So I'm going this way. Let's park this guy over here. Right there. Almost. You rolled on me. There we go. So with that, I think I'm going to call this episode done. I'm kind of hitting a, a wall here on ideas until that turns or that turns or that grows or something. When that grows, we could run a weeder on that, right? Not that one. <laughs> um, let's see. If we were to look at... Fer no, we're all fertilized. We're done. We maxed it all out. So really, we're just waiting for something to harvest. Waiting for that green, which I'm hoping is the final one there, but I may be wrong. There aren't any darker colors on the map to compare, so I'm assuming it's the darkest one. And it did seem like the yellow tops were the last stage before harvest on the canola. So I'm guessing that's what it is. But let's call this one done. Next time we'll uh, maybe I'll run time forward until we actually do have some uh, something exciting to, to do. So, with that, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would, and I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.